Good morning, DMS. I'm Jackie. And I'm Peyton. Man, this week has gone by so fast. Yeah, I'm so glad that there's no school tomorrow. Hey, Jackie, you're in web, right? Yeah, why? Well, the year's almost over, and that means new seventh graders need to apply for web. Let's find out more what web was about this year. Completed web leader applications will be due on Friday, April 25th. You can turn them into Mrs. Deaver's classroom by the end of the day. Would you encourage seventh graders to join web? I would encourage seventh graders to join web because it's a really great leadership experience and it helps you grow as a person and it's a really good thing to do for kids who are younger than you. What did you like about web? Um, I liked having like a group of kids just to bond with and they were they were really fun. They're like younger than me, so I probably wouldn't have known them if I hadn't have done this, but it's really fun getting to know them, watching them grow and get through middle school. It's really fun. What was your favorite memory about web? My favorite memory about web was orientation day when I met them all for the first time because they were scared of me and I was scared of them until eventually they started like making jokes and we all laughed and it was really fun. Would you encourage seventh graders to join web? I would. It's a good program. Mm -hmm. What did you like about web? I like meeting the new sixth graders. They were fun. What was your favorite memory about web? Um, orientation day because you know, getting to know the sixth graders for the first time is really fun. So. All right. After our first year's web program, Mrs. Deaver and myself are just really excited to see what kind of new students we get next year. And and I have loved working with the eighth grade web leaders this year, and I'm really proud of all that they were able to do and with our sixth grade students. And so I'm just excited to see what seventh graders are going to apply and what we, what kind of students we get to work with next year. One of the things that's important about being a web leader is you want to be somebody who really wants to make a difference in our school. For years and years, I've heard students talk about what they wish their middle school could be like and how they wish the hallways could look like and sound like. And with the web program, you actually get a chance to change that. Web leaders have a chance to really make the, the hallways and make their school the kind of school that feels like everybody has a place to belong. And that's a pretty special thing. One thing about the Web Leader program is that you get to see how 8th graders are able to really make a difference in 6th grade students' lives. It's something special because it's not the teachers, it's not the principals, it's the students who are making an impact in, in lives every day at Discovery Middle School. So what I love most about the Web program is that we get to see how 8th graders are able to take control of their leadership abilities and really get to shine. And I love to see the stories come out about how 6th graders are encouraged and 6th graders are enjoying their their web Wednesday times with their leaders and I don't think you can duplicate that with teachers and students I think it's pretty special to have the eighth grade students be the ones to inspire the sixth graders in such a, a real way would you encourage seventh graders to join web yeah I would definitely encourage uh, seventh graders to join web because it's a great experience to get to know incoming sixth graders and it's a just a really good leadership experience what did you like about web um, I liked being able to connect with sixth graders that I probably wouldn't normally hang out with, and I got to know them a lot better. What was your favorite memory about Web? My favorite memory about Web would probably be the sixth grade transition day when we got to meet our groups for the first time. <laughs> what did you like about Web? Um, I liked helping the sixth graders um, get over their fears about going to middle school, and I liked getting to know them. What was your favorite memory about Web? My favorite memory was probably the first day we met them. They were it was the day before school started, and they were so nervous. And we had a, a lot of fun because we got to dress up as my group dressed up as nerds, but everyone else got to dress up as something cool. I really hope that the students who are turning in their applications to the Web Leader Program are the students who really care about making a difference in our school. And I really hope that they're the students who are kind and helpful, who are ready to take charge, and who are ready to have some fun while working with some great students at our school. So if you think that you are the kind of student that would make a big difference in this school and who's ready to take on a challenge, then I hope you apply to be a Web Leader next year because we cannot wait to work with those kind of students in the Web Program. What's the matter with your arm? I keep getting bumped in the hallway. There's always someone running into me or doing something that they're not supposed to in the hallway. Yeah, I've had that problem many times this year. I think we need to refresh on how to walk in the halls. 
What is your definition of being good in the hallways? Um, being good in the hallways, uh, just being respectful to those around you. What does being good in the hallways mean to you? Well, as a teacher, I like to see students not running, so that kind of creates less confusion in the hallway. And um, if you're congregating with your friends, kind of maybe do that towards the sides of the hallway so people have room to move. Um, so basically just act normal in the hallways, not a lot of goofy stuff or running and things like that. What does being good in the hallway mean to you? I think it means not touching other people's lockers and not bumping into people on purpose and helping someone if they drop their stuff. Bad hallway etiquette. Good hallway etiquette. That was the right way to walk down the hall. Remember DMS, be good in the hallways. There's only 30 more days till school is finally out. Yeah, but then high school is right around the corner. I hope I'm not the only one who has fears about going to the high school next year. Me too. Discovery Middle School 8th grade students are heading to Liberty High School next year. Some students are scared and nervous. Let's see what the students are exactly nervous and scared about. What is your freshman fear? Probably the freshman beat down. That's pretty good. Um, scared that too. What is your freshman fear? Getting trampled by the bigger kids. Quality. Yep. What is your freshman fear? Uh, I'm not really afraid. I'm kind of ready. Oh. Is that okay? That's pretty great. Okay. What is your freshman fear? Uh, my freshman fear is freshman beatdown day. Great. What was your freshman fear? Well, um, I played high school football, and um, I weighed about 130 pounds at the time, and as a running back. And um, our high school football team at the time was ranked like second in the state, so we had these humongous guys. And I was in a small school, so we had to play against the varsity like as the scout team. And so my freshman fear every day was just getting pummeled in football practice. What is your freshman fear? Well, the, uh, the uh, competition, as in like track and cross country and stuff. Older guys, they're better. But you know YOLO, hashtag 2K14. Yeah. What is your freshman fear? Um, I think it would be freshman beatdown. Because, you know, a kid like me, I'm pretty small. I get beat up. Yeah. What's the madness bracket all the guys have been talking about? Seriously, Peyton? It's a college basketball tournament where 64 teams play and try to make it to the national championship. Oh, I wonder who our friends at school wanted to win. This last month, an NCAA basketball tournament has been played and was called March Madness. This last weekend, Connecticut and Kentucky made it into the finals. Monday, UConn won the championships 60-54. to This year was the first year to have a 7 seed and an 8 seed play in the championships. This NCAA tournament had a lot of upsets. The upsets were Dayton beating Ohio State, Syracuse, and Stanford, Mercer beating Duke, Stanford beating KU and New Mexico, Kentucky beating Kansas State, Wichita State, Louisville, Michigan, and Wisconsin, and U UConn beating St. Joe's, Villanova, Iowa State, Michigan State, and Florida. So, how did your bracket go? Um, whatever Duke lost, it was over. Who did you have winning the brackets? Duke. How did your bracket go? 
Uh, it was, it was okay. I mean, I had Michigan going all the way, but they went decently far, and I had three out of the four teams in the Final Four, right? So, pretty good. Sounds quite good. How did your bracket go this year? It went pretty bad. It sucked. Who'd you have winning? I went with Cal Poly. Ooh, the underdog pick. So how did your bracket go this year? Well, uh, last year I got the championship winner right, and this year I went I went for Louisville again. And as soon as they went out, I just kind of stopped watching. Early mistake. Yeah, definitely. How did your bracket go this year? Oh, man. Well, I always throw in a couple upsets, and uh, they didn't quite come through, but our family has a huge contest, and it's my mom and dad, my brother, his family, my family. And um, depending on tonight's game, either my 10-year-old daughter is going to win or my wife, both of which had no idea the Final Four was even going on yesterday. So that'll tell you a little bit about how our brackets have gone. Uh, what are you doing? I have a track meet tonight. And your superstition is to be organized? Maybe. I'm pretty sure other people at the school have weird superstitions too. My superstition is to eat peanut butter toast and orange juice, and I have to wear my lucky shoes. Um, I wear the same shirt before every game. My superstition is eating the same food before a game every single time. Um, I retape my stick every time, and I eat pasta before every game, and I have to tie my skates the exact same way, or else it feels weird and it, I don't play as well. My superstition is when I don't wear the same shoes, I'm going to lose the race. Did you hear that B&B is opening up a new movie theater in Liberty? Yeah, I did. I heard it's supposed to have like a 500 foot screen. Okay, I didn't hear that, but let's find out what the real theater is supposed to have. Recently, B&B theaters have announced that they will be building a new state-of-the-art theater across from Liberty High School. Bob Bagby, president of B&B Theaters, says he expects the groundbreaking to be before the end of 2014 and could be welcoming moviegoers as early as October 2015. Bagby talks about how the new location will feature 14 screens, including two trademarked, curved, wall-to-wall -wall b and grand screens. The largest screen at the current theater in Liberty is smaller than the smallest screen in the upcoming design. The new location will feature premium seating, huge sound systems, and better food and drink options. Liberty Public Schools Board of Education approved a parking lot agreement with the theater for the new location, which allows students to use the parking spaces during certain times of the day and customers during non-school hours. This new theater will impact everyone in Liberty, from patrons to students, and will be a positive addition to the Liberty community. Who was that guy that came to our school Wednesday with the accent? That was Anthony John. He is an author that came to visit. One of his books that he wrote is called Elemental. Oh, what's it about? A kid with superpowers trying to save the leaders of his village. Sounds interesting. Well, let's find out more about the author in this next feature. Have started. If you had found me in this library when I was your age, these are the kinds of books you would have found me reading. Now, just for a moment, bathe in the wonderfulness that is these soft pastel covers. Do you feel drawn in? Do you feel like this is something you want to pick off the shelf? Oh, no. uh, right, exactly. yeah, no. We recently had an author visit our school. His name was Anthony John. We asked Anthony John some questions about his childhood. You know, his favorite author as a kid was S. E. Hinton. He decided it would be fun to write a novel, and once he wrote one, he was hooked. He writes young adults and fantasy books. Continuously writing more. He has written five books so far and is continuously writing more. Well, this broadcast has been fun. Yep, have a happy three-day weekend, DMS.